This video gives away my trade secrets. It shows you how to analyze office actions using Acrobat bookmarks and crosslinks. Six years of learning condensed into six minutes. This is a markup process that you can delegate to someone else or do yourself as a survey of the examiner's position. Use these tricks to merge analysis with interview prep and you'll get the interview prep for free. Acrobat works best for analysis if you open the preferences dialog and override some defaults. First, you have to uncheck the document crosslinks open in new window box. If you don't, the office action will close every time you link to the cited passage. Second, change the PDF archive slash A preference to never view documents in archive mode. You do this because archive mode prevents you from editing, linking, or annotating documents. Next, you want to configure the Acrobat icon bar with frequently used buttons. Here are the buttons that I use the most. Get rid of the seldom used buttons. That makes it easier to find the button that you need when you need it. Set up individual documents with sensible titles. Acrobat's default shows you the document's name, not its title. To use Acrobat to embed real titles in the documents. Enable the left-hand panel for bookmarks. And override the default so that the document title instead of the document name shows in the title bar. Give every document a meaningful title. Your new title will show up both in the title bar at the top and in the pull-down menu in under Windows in the pick list. All of your PDF documents should be OCR'd, especially the office actions and references. Acrobat does this for you with just a couple of clicks. After OCRing the office action, it's easy to create bookmarks. Highlighted text is automatically converted into a bookmark. Shorten the long bookmarks so that the text you care about shows up in the window bookmarks outline the examiner's principal arguments. If you create a bookmark and it doesn't point to quite the right place, just reset it. Be sure to apply bookmarks all the way at the end of the office action, even if you skip a few pages in the middle, because the good news is always at the very end. Examiners give you the allowable subject matter, and offer hints on the last page or two of the office action, so don't stop short. If you start working on your rejection before you see the good news, you're going to waste a lot of time. Cross-linking analysis follows bookmarking. The best analytical tool that Acrobat offers is the cross-link to the reference. Cross-link or jump-link analysis connects the citation the examiner gives you with the actual reference the examiner is relying on. A couple of clicks of the button is all it takes to create a jump link. Make your jump links a different color than your other highlighting. Once the link's in place, it's easy to click on and see whether there's good support for the examiner's argument. I always make the first link point to the cover page of the reference. Later links point to the cited passages. Lassoing the cited passages with red rectangles makes them easy to read. Easier for my eyes than highlighting. I only use a very little highlighting for key words in a longer lassoed passage. When you combine bookmarks and cross-links during the analysis of the office action. You get most of the interview preparation for free. Bookmark and cross-link analysis prepares your set of documents for a WebEx interview. It makes it effortless to show the examiner the right document, turn to the right page, and frame the passage that you want to look at. The only added effort to move from analysis markup to interview readiness is a few special zooms and selection of key figures from the application. Special zoom bookmarks make key passages and key figures easy to find and read.
it's going to take you two or three tries for this to feel natural. But once you get it, once it feels natural, you may find this is the best way to take notes with the added benefit of merging analysis with interview prep. Do this and you'll be well prepared for interviews in the new, in the new world of hoteling, satellite offices, video conferencing, and WebEx.